so it's, it's been about three weeks since all this uh, federal investigation <coughs> stuff first hit. Um, you know Jim Gatto well. You've known him for a while. Have you had a chance to talk to him? And are, are you surprised that his name got mixed up in, in all this stuff? Well, I, I, I do know Jim. Uh, 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 we've been with Adidas for 10 years or whatever. So, you know, you know most of those guys within the company. Uh, but uh, uh, it's, it was very disappointing and disheartening and, and obviously a, a, a dark cloud for our, uh, for our profession and everything, but but to answer your question, no, I've had zero contact, zero. Is uh, in the, the allegations with you know a possible six-figure payment to, from Adidas and whatever sources to get someone to go to the school? Does that surprise you that yeah. those things are out there? That surprises me. Yeah, that does surprise me. In, in now, this, now, now, I'm not going to go into a, a lot of detail. What's not surprising is is uh, third parties' involvement in recruiting. Everybody should know that that that's, that's prevalent everywhere. Uh, uh, you what know, can you do about that? There... I'm not sure. Well, it hadn't been illegal. I mean, you, 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 people can assume that 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 certain things. Is, there's nothing illegal about it. agents talking to kids and the families. There's nothing illegal at, at, in ninth or tenth grade. There's nothing illegal uh, the way the rules are today. There's nothing illegal about about shoe com shoe companies funding AAU programs. There's none of that, that. That's what's been encouraged, and that's what's been done, and that's when what's been said legal. So, I don't think it sh shouldn't come as total surprise that. You could have influence coming from third parties when those things are are, are prevalent. So, so uh, uh, you know, obviously the things that were reported were were uh, were uh, uh, to answer your question. What can be done? I, I think we have to maybe take it, uh, uh, look at it from from really thirty thousand feet and said, well. What can not not only what can be done, but what do we want to accomplish with this? Uh, people say they have all the answers, and well, let's just pay players, or let's let's allow agents them to sign with agents, or let's let them go out of high school, or let's put in the baseball rule, or or let's pay them for their likeness and image, and all these things. These things all sound very simple in theory, which I'm not saying some of them or all of them couldn't work, but this has to be a long. You know, vetted out process to determine what we do. We want amateurism to be, you know. So, so you know, the, the Olympics made a made a, a a lot of changes, you know, in you know decades ago. But recent memory for for most of us, when you know, no am no no pros could participate in the Olympics. Isn't in that right? And now professional athletes can participate in the Olympics and things like that. So I don't know how we'll, how the college landscape will change, but I think it'll change not only for basketball, but for everybody. Do you, from knowing Jim Gatto, or I don't know if you know Mel Coat or not, another one of the names from the shoe company there, from knowing these guys, do you think that there's a fear out there that they'll, when whistleblowers start going, there'll be people turn over on other schools and things like that? Knowing what you know about him, is he someone who would... I, I'm, not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to get into that because I've never, ever visited with him in regards to anything that would be uh, 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 remotely associated with how he would react in a, in, in a situation like this, nothing. So, so uh, uh, I, I, I can't answer that question at all. Hey, Justin, you're a fan. I mean, just hearing all this and just listening to what you're saying, the conversation has been said that it needs to be had, and we've been doing this for a number of years. Is it time for athletes at the college level, at least basketball and football, to start getting paid or getting some, some sort of... You, you, now, see, that's a great point. But do you think that'll hold up in the court of law that those are the only two sports where athletes can be paid? So so, so, so there, there's all kinds of things that have to be thought out. This is this is bigger than us just coming up with ideas. It's, right. you know, us coming up with, with ideas that will also be able to withhold all the all the, uh, uh, the the headwind that's going to be coming towards it. And, and those, are, those aren't questions I can answer. You should ask NCAA legal counsel. On, on, on those sorts of things, but do I think that do I think the 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 it needs to be fixed and changed? Absolutely, and and hopefully, what has transpired will will definitely uh, create some positive things moving forward that would be better for not only our sport but, but better for all you know collegiate athletics moving forward. And so with what Adidas in the news off the court. Yeah. Um, has that affected you guys in recruiting, and are you concerned at all with your relationship with them moving forward? Uh, I would say that that uh, I don't know that it's affected us. I, I, I know that uh, there there is whenever whenever in in uh, in recruiting that 
there could be something out there uh, uh, that has been reported, whether it's reliable, unreliable, you know, total myth, whatever. There's usually competitors that will make sure that information gets to people. I mean, that, that, that's, that's how, unfortunately, that's how it works. And, and you can say that's negative recruiting, you know, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's reported and you forward an article. I'm not sure that's negative recruiting. I think that's, that's you know, uh, 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 but, the, but a lot of times the things that are reported are so inaccurate that it puts you on the defense. And, and I, 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 would, I would be lying if I wouldn't have to tell you that we have addressed these issues with everyone that we're, we're recruiting. And, and has it hurt us to date? No, I don't think it has. But, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's not signing date yet either. I, I know that, that we spent plenty of time uh, uh, making sure we explained, uh, you know, the position of what's transpired so far based on what we know. But, but uh, uh, as at this point, I, I don't think it's been a big deterrent. The new Adidas contract's not quite official yet. Are you confident in that moving forward? And uh, well, you'd have to ask my superiors that. I mean, I, that would probably be Shan or, or uh, uh, maybe our chancellor uh, uh, even involved with that. So I, I don't, I don't know anything about the contract moving forward or the dates or if it's signed yet. I, I really don't know that. There was a Freedom of Information uh, request from a, from a paper to try to get stuff, and the FBI sent a letter back to them. Have, have you seen that letter? And what? Yeah. What is your assurance level that, that you guys don't have any issues, your fans aren't going to worry about the camera? Well, I don't think that we do. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think that we do, but if I, I, could be, I could be mistaken on this, okay? So, so bear with me on this. What was reported was accurate, but it was incomplete. Uh, because if I'm not mistaken, the Kansas City Star and the Journal World ran something uh, right after that that said that would have been our standard answer if anybody from any school would have FOI'd the FBI regarding anything going on with this investigation. If that's the fact, which I believe it is based on the way it's been reported, it certainly wasn't part of the initial, you know, bang. So, so when Bleacher Report or Yahoo or ESPN get it, they don't get the full thing, they get the partial thing. And, and the, the, you know, the, that, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. So that, that could put you potentially on a defensive on recruiting saying, let me send you the full scope of, of the article as opposed to the partial one. And, and based on what I have been told and what I have seen is it was very clear that it was a standard answer that would be responded to by anybody that would have questions about any school that FOI that could, that could potentially be uh, having any type of, uh, not involvement, but any type of uh, connection in what way, shape or form with what the FBI is trying to do. That's the way it was explained to me. That's the way I understood it. So, so uh, uh, I don't think our fans at, at this point in time uh, have anything to worry about. Uh, the, the, I, 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 I'm, I'm much more concerned about our sport than I am Kansas. Theoretically, I guess if you, if you look at this from 30,000 feet, a shoe company could do this without a school even knowing. Uh, to theory. try to try to you yeah. know, pay a kid some money, you wouldn't think it could happen, but it could. Is, is there fears out there that there are other things happening that you guys wouldn't know about? Well, I, I would say that there's fears may be not be the right word, but I think there's obviously uh, there's things going on in recruiting uh, that a lot of times coaches would not know about when 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 because you don't know what what uh, agents and families talk about when they when they meet. You don't you don't know about that stuff. Uh, so, you know, you'd like to know as much as possible, but that, I, I think that would be probably be impossible to know every little thing. So would that be concerns? Yeah, that, 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 that would be concerns for anybody. I would say that there could be some things out there that, that, that's gone on in recruiting that doesn't involve just the school and the family and the recruit. Uh, uh, but, but, uh, I'm not saying that's prevalent. Uh, I don't believe it is, but I, you know, who knows, I guess it could. Are you encouraged by the commission that the NCA formed this week? I, I am. I, 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 I don't see, first of all, I thought, you know, in, in a short amount of time, because, you know, the NCAA was probably, uh, uh, I don't want to say blindsided, but I'm not sure they're aware of everything that was going on, uh, because I think the, the, uh, the indictments uh, that were passed down three weeks ago, you know, basically surprised everybody, you know, based on what I know. I don't, I, of course, I'm not in the know, but... But I, I do think that's a positive step, that we have to do something 
and uh, uh, to evaluate where we are and where we want to go because I think the model, the way we see it now, will not exist uh, uh, in the near future. It may be tweaks, but I also think there could potentially be some major changes.